You that rules over all life. <sighs> you survived another day. So Vanille seems well. I'm glad. What do you want now? I've come to help you remember what you've lost. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about, okay? You woke up from your crystal sleep with God's voice in your ear. He said you had to be the savior. But part of what made you lightning was missing, leaving a big empty hole in your heart. Yeah, that's how it feels. It's like I've forgotten something important, something that I need. Huh? Really? I thought you'd deny it. But it's okay. I'll help you remember. Indestructible crystal. Even in the sea of chaos, it never loses its shine. I will become an eternal epitaph. 
Your memory will survive for eternity within a crystal tomb. This shall be my legacy and my atonement. But most of all, my final hope. You wanted to protect her, so you fell into that crystal sleep. You became a tomb for a memory, a moment frozen in time, with Sarah's soul cocooned inside. So tell me, Lightning, where do you think Sarah is now? Yes. I remember now. She was there, in my heart. I had her memories. They were inside me. I took them into the crystal. She was with me then. We should have been together the whole time. Right. Now you're catching on. So, the hole in your heart? Sarah's soul. That's what I'm missing. And you know who took it out, don't you? Benavelza did when he woke you up to do his bidding. He must have messed with your memories, too, and tried to make you forget about it. And so he had the perfect motivation. Or should I say, hostage. He's gonna hold on to her until I've done what he wants. Oh, I don't know if he thought it out that far. He's not very good with human emotions, that god of yours. Maybe he just threw her soul away and let it be swallowed up by the chaos. But he promised me. He said as long as I did what I was told, he'd bring Sarah back to me. If he lied, then I don't care if he is a god. I'll destroy him. <laughs> now that's more like the old lightning. But do you really think you can take on a god? Well, I wouldn't bet against me. I might have found a way to shut him down. A last resort if all else fails. <laughs> You've been brewing up contingency plans. Sneaky, Lightning. Very sneaky. I haven't made up my mind yet. This world is finished. Soon it'll be gone forever. And Benevelza is the only one who can build us a new one. When he's done, then I'll decide. So you'll play his game for as long as it takes to build the new world. Then you'll sit in judgment on him, you'll betray him and destroy him and steal the new world he labored to build. Is that your plan? I love it. Turning on God and making him a pawn in your own game? It's audacious. Oh, but little Hope is going to be so disappointed. He really does trust you, you know. And you're going to betray him. Oh, you did think about that, didn't you? You turn on God, you turn on Hope. Are you ready for that? Do you have it in you to fight him? Are you really prepared to kill Hope? <laughs> you think I'm not? You answered a question with a question. That's an evasion. <sighs> Got ya. But it's not a big deal. It looks like Hope and talks like Hope, but it isn't Hope anymore. Are you saying he's a fake? Sorry, but the only fake I know is Sarah. <sighs> Look, if you're gonna talk nonsense, this conversation is over. I've got better things to do. Fine, Lightning. Let me make it all clear. Look around you and see the lies. The Sarah you talked to is a lie. Hope in his arc is a lie. How long is it going to take before you wake up? Before you realize that maybe, just maybe, you're a lie too. <laughs>
Grant the Forsaken World more time. Well, it's that time again. What do you think Fen- Will she try to- I met Lumina again. You mean, the girl who walks in the chaos? That would explain the chaos readings I picked up in the Ark. She brings the chaos with her. Light, there's something that bothers me about that girl. Perhaps you've noticed it as well. You mean how she looks just like Sarah at that age? So you think so too. They're so alike. I can't help thinking that it really is her, in some way. She may look like Sarah, but it's not her. Lumina's just too... And she really rubs me the wrong way. Maybe she's not that bad. Just that her behavior seems all the worse when she looks so much like your sister. In any case, for now, Lumina's real identity will remain a mystery. All we can say for sure is you and her don't get along. There you are. Welcome home. What's wrong? Nothing. Just things on my mind. Don't worry about it. I can't help but worry. We're finally getting the chance to talk, but you don't seem happy. It's like you don't even know how to smile anymore. Right now, this is the best I can do. Not that I was ever good at it. It's okay. I can make you smile again. You just have to go back to the days when the future still looked bright. When was that? Back before we made all those mistakes. Before we started messing around with gods and Falci. We thought it was our destiny to fight for the world and the future. 
All those battles, all those struggles, they didn't mean anything in the end. Was it all a mistake? Even the journey you went on with Noah? Well, what else would you call it? We risked everything, but in the end we couldn't save the future and I died. If that's not a mistake, what is? That's why I have to get rid of it. Throw it all away. It didn't mean a thing. It's done and gone. No regrets, just a clean slate. We're going to have a new world, and you and I will be just like we used to be way back when. Listen, Sarah. Let me say this. If that journey was a mistake, I'm the one who has to bear the blame. Because I sent you. It's me who has to pay the price. All you did was try your best. There's nothing wrong with that. It didn't turn out like I'd hoped, but it wasn't a mistake. You tried to do something that was good and right. You must never throw that away. Maybe. But I... I don't want to remember it again. I just want to forget it all. Right. When she said that, I didn't believe her. She'd always been able to accept hardship, fight through it, and be stronger for it. Lumina's words came back to me. She said the only fake I know is Sarah. No, that couldn't be right. The problem was in me, making me doubt her. But it was no good. The terrible thought had formed in my mind. The seed was planted. What if this Sarah was fake? And my memories of her too. Give us a reprieve so that I can save more souls. Good to see you again. Light, I lost contact with you again while you were being teleported. I saw her again. It looks like God might keep his promise and bring my sister back. She'll be a new Sarah. New? What do you mean by that? Are you saying that when he resurrects Sarah, it will be a different person? Like, a fake? No, that's not it at all. I just mean, if she's going to be born again, she'll be a new version of her old self. I don't think you're being... You don't think the Sarah you met is the real thing, do you? You think that there's something missing. It's all right. You don't have to say anything. The truth is plain enough to see. Since I came here, I haven't been good at reading people, but I've been practicing on you. But don't worry, I'm on your side. Yours and You only agreed to become the savior because it was your only chance to save Sarah. And that means God has a hold on you. But if the Sarah he's showing you isn't real, then that control he has disappears. He has no hostage.
Let life still linger if only for one more day. How's life on the surface? Chaos readings. Perhaps the chaos is even reaching the Ark now. Keep people waiting. This girl, she's got something she wants to ask. What girl? Are you talking about that shadow? Yep, and guess what? It's someone you know. Okay, you can come out. <gasps> Yule. There are people here. They want to see you. to lend a helping hand, but you're too far. Even though they know what you're really feeling, what you need, they can't do anything for you. I'm not looking for help from anybody. Of course you aren't. You're God's handpicked savior, right? You don't need friends, or even family. That's why you can't find Sarah anymore. <sighs> Whatever. Listen, you are the savior. You must gather the souls that still walk upon this dying world, and lead them to a new world of salvation. But, your sister's soul is invisible to you, and if you cannot see her, you cannot save her. You must ask yourself, if it means saving Sarah, will you fight God? One human does not have the power to defeat Benevelza. He is all-powerful. Then I'll find another power. Something beyond me, whatever it takes, even if it kills me as well. You cannot save anyone. Not even Sarah. Not as you are. Because first, you have to save yourself. You should listen to her. She always tells the truth. Right. Not like you. But... She's telling me that I'm missing something. Well, yeah. Haven't you figured it out? Ugh. I swear, sometimes I lose my faith in you. You don't even know the first thing about your own soul, but you think you can fight God himself. I don't think I've ever met anyone so dense! If you know it all, then tell me. What is it I'm missing? <sighs> it doesn't work like that. It doesn't mean a thing if you can't figure it out on your own. I have to save myself. But how?
Light, can you hear me? Are you hurt? It's all right. I'm fine. But... Look, I said I'm fine. Now just drop it, all right? If you're sure. But you will tell me if something is wrong, won't you, Light? Sid Reigns. That was once a man's name, but now it means nothing. His soul has dissolved into the swirl of chaos. I take his form as a convenience, but I'm no more than a puppet. All right, so who's pulling your strings, Bonavelza? No, not God. I am the voice of many, of the countless multitude who call chaos home. I am the speaker for the dead. Tell me, Savior, do you know the ritual they call Soul Song? Vanille is planning to perform it at the Cathedral. She says it'll release the dead from their suffering. I guess that means you. Vanille has been misled. There is a truth she cannot see, a truth that lies within the Unseen Realm. What do you mean? What truth? You do not understand the role of Chaos. The Chaos will drown this world, but it's also the key to our humanity. When we die, we return to it. But only for a short time. When a man dies, his soul melts into the Chaos, but the idea of it, of him, survives intact. And then he is reborn anew and returns to the living world. An unseen power exists in all of us. It's the chaos that we carry in our hearts. Our souls are made out of the chaos, which is why they return to it when we die. But they survive there, waiting for a new body, which means you could be reborn in the new world. If the Sacred One shows us the way, she is the only one who can tell us what to do. She has the power to guide us into the future where we can live again. She can do what I can't. Vanil can bring salvation to the dead. Yes, but she doesn't know what she is capable of. The Order has kept the truth from her. Why would they lie to her? They preach salvation. Only for the living. The Soul Song will destroy us and make you forget we ever existed. Murder on a grand scale. You want me to stop her, right? Yes, and then you must tell her what her real power is, so she can lead us to salvation. Is this what you all want? It is, but it is not God's will. 
If you answer our prayer, it will mean defying Bonavelza. Those who try to defy the gods end up controlled by them and are destroyed in the end. Like Sid Reigns. I remember Reigns fought for humanity and he was killed for it, but the spirit that drove him to stand up to the tyranny of the gods didn't die. I kept it with me. Chaos is in all of us. It's the stuff our souls are made of, and it's the reason that the dead live on in our hearts and minds. Yes, the chaos unites humanity, a thread woven through all our lives, and it's a power God cannot see. Its potential is limitless, and that makes it more powerful than he is. But now you're gonna tell me that it's nearly impossible to tap into. Am I right? Yet it is possible. No one can control the chaos. If you want to make the power yours, you must have the help of those who are inside it. You know what needs to be done. You know whose soul you have to find. You mean Sarah? Are you saying I'll be able to reach her? You must. With the chaos, anything is possible. Find the invisible bonds that unite us across life and death. Do that, and you will have all the power you need. Hmm. Chaos. It was the key to defeating God. If I wanted to use it, I needed Sarah's help. But Sarah... How can I make you hear me? I reach out with every fiber of my being, but is it enough? Can I do more? If I throw myself into the abyss, if I cry out to you, will you hear me, Sarah? Will you answer? Hold the world aloft, give me another day. You survived another day. Light, the end is almost here. One more day, and then the destruction of the world will be complete. Right. And there's no way I can delay it any longer. No. This is it. You can still carry out your mission as the Savior, but today is your last chance. Tomorrow in the Cathedral, Vanille will perform the Soul Song for the Order, the final rites, when the souls of the dead will be released from their torment and returned to oblivion. And when the clock strikes the hour, it'll mark the end of everything. It's an ending that not even God has the power to stop. Hope, tell me something. You said if that's true, then that's where Sarah must be. For God, the chaos is an unseen realm. He cannot see inside. And so it follows that he doesn't have the power to find her as long as she is in the chaos. But he can do something else. He can make her anew. But then how can she be the real Sarah? The one I know? Well... Don't you trust him? It's true that even with all his power, God cannot extract Sarah's soul from the chaos. But there is another place he might find it. He could take her soul from inside of you. How would... You're just making things up now. You always found it hard to trust people. What chance does God have? Look, I'm not saying you will, but if you do decide to turn against him, you should know that I'll always stand with you. You trust me, don't you? It just seems like the more I search, the further away I get from finding her. I've encountered more than a few ghosts from the past now, talked to souls from the chaos even, but I'm still no closer to finding Sarah, not even a hint. I don't know, but perhaps you've done everything you can. Maybe you could have found her already, but something is keeping her from talking to you. Like she doesn't want to see me? Is that what you're saying? Of course I don't think that's the case, but it's possible. 
Perhaps it's because you're too close to each other. You mean she's out there and can talk to other people, but not me. Tell you what, why don't you go out there and look for her in my place? I'd like to help, Light, but I can't leave the ark. How about this? If I happen to die before you do, for whatever reason, I'll make you a promise. I'll try to find her in the chaos. And when I do, I'll find some way for you two to be together again. It really feels like the end now. It's been dying for 500 years. I wasn't talking about the world. Then what? Never mind. Time is short. Every minute's precious now. Let's not waste any. 